the killer, aren't you? You still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Oh my... Um... Everyone's ganging up on me. She either... It is her, or... We're just being a huge asshole but ganging up on her. She's either faking it or she actually... Uh, no, I still think it's her. Tricks aside, luggage aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it would be so much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Nagito, please enlighten me. Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the killer this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with a suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. Please don't say such controversial statements. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal! A decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope. It's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy boot you used to hang yourself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means... Well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. Oh, God. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Don, I've been listening to you for a while. And it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? He said the rope won't be much of a clue. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? Killer strangled Ibuki, and then, and then, I finished speaking. <laughs> but Nagito! How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Nagito's words contain a clue? Is that really true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. 
That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this, too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood us to blame! Did we fall for someone's lie? That must be it! So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Bullshit! That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, you were right. And you have been a great help to us so far. Stop believing her! She has to be the bad guy! But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> Such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless. Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Cause she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um... Forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. No, Nagito. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer. Then who the fuck is if it ain't you? There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. Is that really true? <laughs> stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. <laughs> I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Because... If there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Huh? Is that 
all you can say. I knew it, you're so shit, you're fucking shit to expose, you're gonna get executed and die. You motherfucker. Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, hey, Mikan. It's not fair. In case anybody wanted to know why Mikon saying if you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself right away, which is true. If you want to know why we attribute causality different from ourselves and to others, it's because we know ourselves internally and externally. We know the factors, but when we see other people, we only make a judgment based on internal. We don't take into consideration of any external things that could be happening to them for somebody to be acting that way. But when we do it, we go, oh well, I'm normally li like this, and I'm in a bad mood, and this shit happened to me earlier, so that's why I'm being an asshole. And it's okay for us to be an asshole, and we forgive ourselves for being an asshole sometimes, because, well, we know what's going on with ourselves internally and externally. Nah, yeah, let's, let's go back to it. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Huh? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. The truth is, one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Chucky. Hey, Mikan. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Can you prove it? Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah, that's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! Treating me like a killer! Based on an assumption! Just because I was at the hospital! <laughs> that's totally crazy! I can do anything wrong! Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> I'm not the killer. <laughs> I never filmed <laughs> that video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. Huh? But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So I'm going to leave this to you once again. Could it? B, was this Chucky's gold all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who saw the video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. I can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Do you have any proof? 
Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. The killer's mistake. From that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction. Nikon, you've committed a major mistake. Mm -hmm, mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Nikon knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Ah! Oh. Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? It's not it? I mean, it's impossible. Impossible. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! I'll keep explaining it until you forgive me! That bag is a limited item! <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This check, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. We gotta do something in the end of this. I can't. 
can't click this fast. There's only one back. It's impossible to lose them too, please. This is the end. Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Said if you buy one, you get another one for free. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems a desperate struggle to find me. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forget me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. everything that happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by them. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that. So I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music video from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Kyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Uyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it?
now she's laughing? Ah, it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... what has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! What? Your arguments have reached a conclusion, so let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! I don't feel bad at all right now. Well now. now then, that may be obvious at this point. Correct. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying blackened who killed two girls was Mika and Sumiki. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikon's the one who nursed us back to hells? Was the one who killed them? I won't forgive you! Don't joke around with me, Mikon. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey! Don't just last say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey! This is nothing like Peko. She's actually gone mental. That's obvious. So there's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. <sighs> she probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? She caught the despair disease, but I thought Monokuma turned it off. But then again, he did say he turned it off the second that should happen. But then why is she still acting weird? Mikan too, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so... When I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Mikon also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Hmm? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? That's right, Mikan felt really hot at the time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be! Then, because of that disease, Mikan was. Perhaps? The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense! Monokuma said he cured it! Did he just not cure her? Jeez. Which means the Mikon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person, now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. 
ultimate despair. I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair, instead of for the sake of hope? Impossible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair. <sighs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong. What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. Is she related to Junko and the other chick? I know. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand they've done something unforgivable. But you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly. It's love. What love is all about? Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by someone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well? Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but... Love is a wonderful thing. This feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking on through it. <laughs> That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they taste me, splash me with water, kick me. Ah, how amazing! It's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, and only love. Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only has she been affected by despair... <sighs> you were half right. It's right to say that this was all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? But if this means you remembered something and ended up like this... Such despair. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to the island? <laughs> Don't get so angry. Well, first of all... The reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because... It's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So... It's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? If anything, you're more nuts than Nagito is! 
There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then, to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's all about that world under organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? You know? <laughs> oh no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. About how that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future? That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right, it was a Japanese word for future. Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Huh. Isn't that right, Monomi? <laughs> I knew it. Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monami and I aren't members! I am Monokuma! My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely one of them. Hey. Don't laugh. Hey, Mikan. If you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all this. Oh? Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! No, oh, hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? You even know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Hmm? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is... Mikan, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? Hmm. The past. Past? That person. She didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend? Oh? Uh, that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. But... Well... That applies to you, all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories make us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. The story about our stolen high school lives. Hey, hey. So it's true all along? Our memories were taken away? If it wasn't true, we wouldn't have been suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Monokuma, is it alright for you to start now? Yes, indeed! Punishment time? Why? Why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For the ultimate nurse, Nikan Sumiki. 
So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! What? Her death scene was her being sent to outer space? Is, is that what this is? It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miura and Hiyoko Sayonji was Mikansumiki. And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So, what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. I did. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. She ended up like that just from remembering. And all along, Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. What? Even if her words were influenced by her despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! That's impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, a friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. It's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad. That's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor's still alive. Has proof? See how fine Monami looks right now. <gasps> I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you fiend? You did say that you're different than Monomi. Phew! Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just keeps going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean rat eye during the break. Hey! Your rat eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey! Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island Beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? 
Could it be Nekumaru? Hey! It is, isn't it? Nekumaru's safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe. I should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekromato would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope? Um, I am happy Nekromato is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought. The way of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. Miss Sonia. However... Even so, I am still happy. If Nekromaru is safe, I am truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. Science. I shall crush you into dust. Um, Ibuki, Yoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekromaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekromaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> what the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. I'm gonna... All right. Let's go! Yeah, you're right. Nekomaru's coming back when we heard that. We were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um... What does that mean? Hey! You! You're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! Poo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekomaru's body. Hmm? Nekomaru's body? <laughs> It's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <gasps> you, what did you do to Nakamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who's that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> Is he like a despair cyborg now or some crap? As soon as we ex exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. All right. Let's haul ass. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept running to the beach. Where is Nekomaru? Hey. Nekomaru, show yourself! Listen. We have come to pick you up! Please hurry and come out of the hiding! We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around again. And so on and so forth, we kept looking. But... Hey, hey. What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found! Damn it! Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. I heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be? That voice! With high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. And then... We saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! 
Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! I Thanks knew it! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! I knew it, he got built into a fucking robot. <laughs> 